Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here with a, another. Um, well, I said I was going to talk about things WWE related, and I took up most of my time talking about uh, with my response to Spinnernet. But anyway, I want to talk about things related to WWE. I mean, I know I know a lot of people are talking um, about what's been going on over the past, you know, 24, 48 hours. You know, a lot of people, uh, for example, the Rumble. Uh, a lot of people thought Triple H was the favorite to win. I mean, in fact, a lot of people were saying on sites that, you know, Triple H was going to win. He was the favorite. He those spoilers about what, you know, advertisements and things like that. But, uh, you see, you see, there's a, there's a reason, uh, you know, why a, lot of, why a lot has happened over the past 48 hours. Uh, you see, I, I was thinking about this and I thought to myself, maybe this is the reason why Edge winning the Rumble. I mean, we knew Edge was going to return at the Rumble. We didn't know he was going to win. So, um, you know, some people didn't know he was going to win. Some did. Um, anyway, you know, th you know, th there's a reason why that happened, and there's also a reason why, um, you know, Shawn Michaels didn't win. And uh, th there's a reason why certain things are happening the way they are. It's because overall, overall, I think the WWE, you know, they have people. They have people on the outside, they have people on the inside that, that um, look up these wrestling sites like Roger.com and Wrestling Bay and SS Scoops and PWR, PWI Picks and, you know, and Wrestling News World. And, um, they, they pick up on what people are saying and I think what WWE does is they, when it comes to things like that, they're like, okay, if that's what they think we're going to do, let's change it up a bit and do this. That's why, you know, that's why at the Rumble, even though every, everybody knew Edge was going to return, no one knew Edge was going to win. Well, not everybody, but, you know, the majority of some people didn't know Edge was going to win. You know, the majority of people that thought Triple H or Shawn Michaels was going to win, or even Cena, they didn't see Edge doing it. And that's because WWE reads up on the on the on the internet sites. They they know what the fans is talking about. They read the spoilers. They they read what Wrestling News World and PWI Torch and, and Roger.com and places like that talk about. And they and again they say, okay, that that's what they think is gonna happen. If they want to report that, fine. We'll change it up, we'll do this. And that's why some people get shocked at times. You know, um, some people, you know, and some people are wondering, are they calling all Shawn Michaels Undertaker? Is that not going to happen now? Who knows? WWE doesn't know what they're doing yet. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Um, I can say this, though. I can say this. If WWE is determined to get Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker, one-on-one -on -one again at WrestleMania, if they're determined, then they're not going to do it in the way the fans and wrestling sites are reporting. No. The way they're going to do it is by the Elimination Chamber. Because think about it. Think about it. Right now, Shawn Michaels is one half of the Unified Tag Team Champions. So it only makes sense if he can get into the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match at Elimination Chamber. And if he does that, Okay, let's say there's two ways it could go if that was to happen. Sean could win the title, and Undertaker would have to cash in his rematch at Mania, finally giving Sean his match. Or if the other way go, other way is, or the other way is if you know Sean gets eliminated by the Undertaker, and let's say it's down to Undertaker Chris Jericho, Sean could cost the Undertaker the match and allow Chris Jericho to win, which would set up for Edge and Jericho for the title. At Mania, that could happen. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's another way it could happen. But you see, the reason certain things don't happen the way fans thought they were going to happen, or wrestling thought, sites, you know, reported they would happen, is because WWE has people reading these sites. On the outside, in the end, they have people reading and reporting what they're reading. That's why, you know, that's why fans. That's why sometimes fans and the, you know people that report this get a little surprised about what WWE is doing. So, 
So that, that's why certain things happen the way they are. I mean, now some people are reporting where the McMahon and Bret Hart match is going to take place. Some are saying it could be Bret and Cena's corner, McMahon and Batista's corner. Some are saying it's going to be a tag match. Uh, no one really knows. Uh, no one really knows. So, um, again, you know, that's why sometimes when you think something's going to happen and WWE changes it on you, it's because they got people on the inside and the outside reporting to them what they read on other webs on these websites. That's why WWE changes it up. And again, that's why sometimes people, like with the Rumble, for example, people always thought Triple H was the favorite to win. I mean, all the signs were there, right? But what happens? Edge wins. So what does that mean? Does that mean the setting up Edge Sheamus, Edge Jericho, Edge Undertaker? Who knows? No one really knows. That's what WWE is doing. That's why, like I said, when you report something, don't, you know, here's, here's my advice. Here's my advice. Go ahead and read what you was reported or report what you've heard, but don't believe it just yet. Don't believe it until you see it. Because if you believe it, well, and something else happens, then you're going to think, should have I believed that? Should I really report that? Report it. But probably, just an advice, just a suggestion, but don't take, put it something like, don't take my word for this, this is just what I'm reporting, this is just what's being reported or being advertised right now, or put it something like, but things could change. This is just what I'm reporting right now, but things could change. Put something on there that lets people know, this is what I've heard, but you know, it could change. Alright? That's why WWE did what they did at the Rumble. And that's what they've done a couple of times on other events as well. It's to, you know, it's because they know what people are reading. So they have, like I said, they have people on the inside and the outside reporting to them what is said on these websites. So you've got to be careful. we got to be careful. I mean, I mean, why do you think WWE, some, I mean, why do you think some people, when it comes to like, say, the SmackDown and ECW spoilers, and the same can go for TNA. TNA is the same way in, in, in some ways. But why do you think sometimes spoilers for TNA, WWE, you know, SmackDown, um, ECW, Superstars, uh, TNA Impact, why do you think sometimes people can't get to the, to the spoilers? Why, why do you think some people can't report them at times? It's because WWE and TNA are basically striking down, they're basically locking down on on this, on, on what's happening. And I mean, I'm not going to be surprised that very soon both companies make a, a decision to have cell phones with text messaging banned from the arena or they advise people to turn them off and if an official, if somebody walking down, you know, the aisle sees somebody going like this, going, okay, this is what's happening in the match. I wouldn't be surprised if they start improvising a rule where they, if they see that, they have to ask what you're doing, and if they see what you're doing, they'll just take it away. I won't be surprised if that happens in the future. future. Because like I said, people wonder sometimes when they go to the sites like Raja and Wrestling News World and SS Scoops and all that, where the spoilers are. Well, then there's your answer. It's because they're cracking down. Both companies are cracking down. WWE's cracking down on the SmackDown ones. And after what's happened with TNA and the producer coming out and talking to the fans, I won't be surprised if the TNA follows suit. So, uh, anyway, that's all I have to say on anything WWE related and why basically some things have changed up in the past and, what, and why some things have happened the way they have in the past 48 hours. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all I can say. And if you got any comments on it, you know, just let me know. Uh, you know, post a comment, let me know about it, Radius 2X, Spinternet, I'm inviting you to guys to give me your comments, just let me know. I mean, this is, I know it sounds like I'm rambling, but it's just what I feel, it's just what I wanted to get off my mind and off my chest. So, that's all I can say, and I'll talk to you all later.